What's up guys, VenomRB here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the 2022 Porsche GT3, 911 GT3. Now, this car costs $165,800, and uh, yeah, let's hop right into the review. So, four sounds. The startup's kind of underwhelming, there's not much to it. Idling's just meh. It sounds pretty good overall, and uh, not much more to comment on that. Okay, now for interior. So the interior is a mix between being detailed and not detailed, obviously. You don't have the detailed speedometer, but then you do have like all the uh, parts of an interior, so it's like a mix between the Artura and STO if you've seen those cars' interiors. All in all, it's not a bad interior, it's not the greatest interior but it's definitely better than like 95% of the other Roblox car games interiors, so good job on that one. Now for an acceleration test, a top speed test, and a stability test. So the acceleration is pretty good and the top speed is 238 miles per hour. Now this car seems incredibly stable at top speed because it's really just not that fast. Keep in mind this car is completely max upgraded so this is as fast as it can ever get. Now for a handling test. So this car seems to handle not great but also not terrible. Just sort of maybe average, slightly below average and about what you would expect for this car. All in all, I feel like this is probably going to be a decent car for races, but not incredible. Like I said, the handling is just meh. It's nothing to be amazed about, but it's nothing that's going to let you down either. So for painting the car, you have your primary color, which is obviously going to change your main body color. And then you have your secondary color, which is going to change the wheel outline. So you can make your primary color match up with that which actually looks pretty good and allows you to do a lot of interesting color combinations. So, is the GT3 a good car? And is it worth it? Not really. For the price, there's a lot of better cars, but it's such a low price at this point that you're just better off saving up a bit more for a different car. So, as much as I'd like to say it's worth it, it's just not. Now, it's a cool car for cruising around in, and it's so cheap that it really doesn't matter. You can, you know, buy it and uh, even if you're not even a rich person, DE, it's not going to really hurt your bank account bad. But uh, yeah, that's about it for this review. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Fun them out.